sure. Okay, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Bye-bye. In the glittering world of adult entertainment, few names shine as brightly as Vanessa Del Rio. With her captivating presence and uninhibited performances, she became an icon, enchanting audiences around the globe. But behind the allure of fame and fortune lies a story of struggle, introspection, and profound revelation. See, first of all, my feelings now of, of how I feel about what I've done and, and where I'm going and everything, I think that the only real victims in pornography are the people that are in front of the camera because uh, you lose something of yourself, you know, and I find this out later on in, in life and that's what my path is now, is, is finding out who I am, what I'm about. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Shout out to Mr. Markham98 for this video. This is his message. I hope this video sheds light on how prawn destroys women. Some gold gems. This video is from the 80s. Mr. Markham 98, salute! This interview is pure gold. Prepare to be captivated by some of the things Vanessa Del Rio said almost 40 years ago as we delve into profound themes of accountability, the complexities of personal struggles, and the far-reaching consequences of involvement in the adult entertainment industry. So buckle up, let's talk about it. We men and we. Yeah. We men and we. Yeah. 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 You actually thought of yourself as a victim in that whole process? Uh, Philosophically? Throughout, but you don't like to think about it at the time because you have to get over what you're doing. But. Uh, Recently, and in my growing, my most growing years, which have been the last three years, I have felt that I don't want to be a victim. I'm my own victim because I, I let people use me. In a world quick to assign blame and cast judgment, Vanessa Del Rio stands as a beacon of self-awareness. She doesn't shy away from her past, nor does she seek pity. Instead, she embraces her truth with courage and grace. She takes accountability for her actions. She let people use her, but why? Well, first of all, I started because I needed money to pay my rent because I was going to Europe. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was fun. I had, a, I had a ball doing it. And when I got back, I was like, well, I want to do some more of those, you know. And it's just the lifestyle that I was leading. I mean, I was into drugs and it was all fun. And you don't see it for what it really is until later on, what it does for you as you're growing as an individual. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't regret what I've done because mm -hmm. I've learned from it. According to research, the most frequent reasons for joining the industry included money, sex, and attention. Only one participant indicated that she was coerced into becoming a prawn actress. This is from a study that examined the responses of 176 female actresses in the adult entertainment industry. Janice Reed. There were women who indicated that they needed money for a variety of reasons including the need to pay bills, quitting their job recently, supporting their family, and paying for college tuition. Some indicated that they were broke. Many actresses believed that pornography was an easy way to make a substantial amount of money in a short amount of time. Although the majority of responses simply indicated money, some responses provided specific reasons as to why the money was needed. This is a multi-billion dollar industry that continues to expand, with the internet making access easier than ever before, particularly for women. However, research and Vanessa Del Rio's story indicate that women aren't necessarily coerced into the industry. Rather, they often have other options to explore. That's why it's crucial to understand the reasons why women choose to enter this field. Sexual gratification ranks as one of the primary motivations for women joining the industry, as highlighted in this study. One actress eloquently expressed her perspective. Janice Reed. I love sex, and since I don't use drugs or drink, I use sex as my drug. Also, I can experience a lifetime's worth of sex many times over. This quote highlights the individual agency and diverse motivations that not only drive women to pursue careers in adult entertainment, but also to engage in casual sex. Why is this information important for men? Because men often have the tendency to view women in the adult entertainment industry as victims in need of saving. What if she doesn't want to be safe? 
it's crucial to recognize that many, 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 many of these women actively choose this path and derive pleasure from it. And I mean, it was fun. I had a, I had a ball doing it. And when I got back, I was like, well, I want to do some more of those, you know. And it's just the lifestyle that I was leading. I mean, I was into drugs and it was all fun. It's essential for men and society as a whole to acknowledge and respect these choices while also critically examining the societal factors that shape them. Well, I was brought up very sheltered. I was the only child, so my parents tried to keep me from everything. And I also went to Catholic school, so I had a lot of don'ts in my life that you can't do this, you can't do that. So it really piqued my curiosity in what it is I wasn't supposed to do. And then going to Catholic school, I did not want to hear that sex was bad because this is what they taught you. They taught you that... Uh, and this, and this sounds ridiculous, but it's true, I swear. If you kissed a boy and there's a table between you, then it's a venial sin. And if you kiss the boy and there's no table between you, then it's a mortal sin. So they basically equated sex with like murder or, or, or something like really bad. I just didn't like the word don't. I, I wanted to find out for myself. I wanted to define what sexuality was for me because it felt good. Vanessa Del Rio's reflections on her childhood are pure gold as they shed light on the protective efforts of her parents and the lessons she eventually learned the hard way. This insight also speaks volumes about the enduring wisdom behind certain religious values, which have long emphasized the consequences of certain actions. Vanessa Del Rio was gonna do what she wanted to do Regardless, this prompts the question, how and when did Vanessa Del Rio come to realize the negative effects of her actions? But really the ones that are getting hurt are the ones that are in front of the camera. Because you, you lose something inside yourself. You, I, I didn't know how to love because I was transcending that through the camera or on stage, which I enjoyed doing very much. But then my personal life just, you know, it, it is true what people think. It does destroy your personal ability to be able to love someone and to share. While Vanessa Del Rio is referred to as an actress, her work in the adult entertainment industry involves engaging in real sexual activity with many, 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 many partners. The human body, mind and soul are intricate and multifaceted with underlying complexities that may not become apparent until later stages. Biologically, men have higher testosterone levels a hormone associated with libido and sexual desire. In addition, men produce millions of sperm on a daily basis, indicating an evolutionary need to distribute genetic material widely. These factors contribute to men's ability to have multiple sexual partners. On the other hand, women, as the childbearers, experience sex on a deeply emotional level and engaging in multiple sexual encounters can lead to emotional barriers or complications that hinder their ability to form deep emotional bonds. Overstimulated, she gained extensive insight into men's experiences, not only sexually, but also in a broader context. In the following clip, Vanessa sheds light on the origins of female epiphanies. Once after, after your back is turned, after you've done the film, their, people that do, are doing the film, their opinion of you is not very high. I mean, when you're dealing with doing sex on film, you do get treated a little bit like you're nothing, you know? So at some point, you must have bought into that yourself. Right, right, and you, you have low self-esteem, but you don't want to really feel that because you still have to, I still have to be Vanessa Del Rio, I still have to be a star and, and make my living, so you don't feel that until later in life, you feel that something inside of you is just not there, it's missing, that's what I found. Keywords, later in life. At the time of this interview, Vanessa Del Rio was approximately 34, 35 years old. This revelation of quote-unquote something is missing inside of you typically occurs when a woman is in her late 20s or early 30s. It's not merely coincidental as this is when women often confront the realities of hitting the wall. This includes aging, changes in appearance, and fertility. Look at this graph. Women in their 30s may experience shifts in how they perceive themselves and how they are perceived by others. 
men's treatment of women also tends to change. And as a prawn actress, Vanessa had to contend with men who were not interested in being seen with her publicly. Whether it's their family, their friendships, but I tell them for the rest of your life, every man you meet is going to want to be with you, but they're not going to want to be with you. What a lie. But it's real. Yeah. They want to be with you, yeah. but they don't want to be with you. They don't want to be your emergency contact number. They don't want to bring you around their family. They don't want to have you around all their friends. But they want to be with you. So that is a is a real thing. And so I never thought that the internet would happen. You know, when we were on film, we were living double lives. Nobody knew who we were. Uh, then the internet happens. I'm like, okay, double life, no more. <laughs> when it's time to settle down, discovering that the men you desire are unwilling to be seen with you due to embarrassment can be a bitter pill to swallow. At the time, Vanessa may not have fully considered the long-term consequences of her career choices. While mistreatment and objectification were present throughout her career, she may have been better able to cope during her prime. However, as she aged, dealing with these challenges became increasingly difficult. I enjoyed what I did. I mean, I really enjoyed those 12 years. It's just that I grew out of it. It's not for me anymore. And then that's basically it. But it is real. I mean, it's really going on. <laughs> This is real, guys. You can take the woman out of the industry, but you can't take the industry out of the woman. Vanessa Del Rio deserves credit for taking accountability for her actions. The same goes for the men who decide to save these adult entertainers, these street walkers, and promiscuous women. Take responsibility for your actions because you deserve everything that awaits you for dealing with these women. Stop thinking with your little head when you think with your little head, you get in trouble. Listen to all, but follow none. Patreon supporters, salute! Man, it's we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.